So um, on this one, ladies and gentlemen, it says now the length of RT is 5x plus 8, and RZ is 4x plus 1. So we have this whole length, and we have this whole length. All right. Now again, we need to know what our definitions of our bisectors are, or our diagonals. right? We know that diagonals are bisected each other. So would it make sense to say that RZ times 2 is equal to RT? Right? Because really, this length is the same as that length. right? So what we could say is RZ, which is 4x plus 1, plus 4x plus 1. If you add, if you add this plus this, that equals RT. right? So you could say this plus it itself again is going to equal to RT, which is 5x plus 8. You could also write it like this. Right? Either way, it's really the same thing. And then apply distributive property or combine like terms. And what you have is 8x plus 2 equals 5x plus 8. Subtract 5x. 3x plus 2 equals 8. Oh, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find zt. OK, so we need to figure out what 8 is. Um, so then I subtract 2. So therefore, on this one, I have x equals 2, right? So now, again, what we said, guys, is the side rz is equivalent to tz, right? These are exactly the same. I know. Oh, shoot, it's almost time. rz is exactly the same thing as tz. So if I need to figure out what our zt is, all I need to do is plug in 2 in for that formula, which is going to be, since rz is the same, it will be 4 times 2 plus 1, right? Because zt, yes, Dominic? Um, Let me look at it in a second. Let me just figure this one out. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is going to be 9. So zt for that problem would be 9, yes? Yeah, I'll go and check yourself off. Um, what did you say, Dominic, again? 